So this is me guys, I am in Tokyo because I'm married to a Japanese guy, I know, <laughs> so random right, I never thought in my life that um, I would be married to a Japanese guy and it was never something that I said okay, you know, um, I'm really into manga or anime or anything like that, I'm just going to marry a Japanese guy, I actually always thought I would be married to someone like Idris Alba or someone like that I never imagined that my husband would be Japanese not that obviously there's anything wrong with being Japanese but it was just you know what I mean I come from northwest London shout out to anyone from North Weezy and I never expected as a girl growing up in London, um, it was one of the furthest things from my mind to have a Japanese husband. It was just, it's just, you know, you'd have one of the brayers from down the road, but you wouldn't have someone as different as someone who was Japanese as a black girl growing up. And um, what changed it is I actually got a scholarship to go to Shanghai and I was um, at a dance class and I actually met my husband there. So I met my Japanese husband at a dance class in Shanghai. I know, wild, right? And um, a friend actually was talking to him and I kind of like slid up and I was like, how are you the win? <laughs> and um, we just started talking, but his English wasn't so good, you know. And um, But I just liked his vibe and his energy. And so we exchanged numbers. Now imagine this, guys. He didn't call me. Imagine. Imagine. So I was like, what? So I knew that Japanese is shy. So being a lady, I don't normally call a guy. But I just said, okay, you know what? Let me text him. And this, bearing in mind, this was over 11 years ago. So it was like, you know, like an old school Nokia trying to be a Blackberry, but not quite. If anyone had that Nokia that um, looked like a Blackberry, but it wasn't, you guys know the struggle's real. So um, I texted him on this phone and it didn't go through. It just said unsent. So I was like, no way. So I pressed resend and it didn't go through, it said unsent, so I just kept pressing the button, because I was like, nah, I need to get to the bottom of this, you know, and um, as soon as I was in a dormitory, and as soon as I came at the dormitory, it just went sent, 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 like a hundred messages, and I was like, oh my gosh, I was trying to play it cool, but anyhow, he texted me back, and um, I think that exact day, he arranged for a date for us to go to a dance class, and when we walked in, um, he said in Chinese, because we were in Shanghai, he was like, oh, um, this is my girlfriend. But I wasn't sure because I was just learning. So I was like, did he say girlfriend or friend? Did he say girlfriend or friend? Which one? Oh, my gosh. So I was memorizing what he said. And then as soon as I saw my roommate, I was like, OK, he said this word. Does it mean girlfriend or friend? And she said girlfriend. And I was like, ah, and we were both like, ah. And um, for some, that might seem so fast, but for me, it was just like, I'm the kind of person, if I get to know someone or I've entertained someone, then I consider us to be girlfriend or boyfriend. I can't explain it. I'm just like, I don't know. Remember, guys, this was over 11 years ago before Tinder. So it was kind of like, if you're asking someone out, it's like, boom you know, you're interested, there wasn't so much of this, um, you know, just playing around, whatever, whatever, it just was what it was, I can't explain it, and um, I think that's an important point when it comes to a stereotypical point, but nonetheless, if you're dating someone from Asia, if they've taken the time to have an interest in you, it normally means they've weighed up all the pros and cons, and that might include marriage, but there are F boys out there. <laughs> so I just want you guys to be aware, just because they're Asian doesn't mean they can't be F boys. But in general, what I found is if they're going to upset grandma and <laughs> mum and dad by introducing you to them, that normally means they see marriage in the future because they're dating to marry rather than dating to play. And again, there are F boys out there. 
you know, I've got a friend who's from Australia and um, Asian and he's got a scar in his leg and he'll tell people, oh, that's where I felt, you know, rescuing my brother. And I'm like, babe, you ain't even got a brother. You don't have a brother. And he's like, yeah, I know. But as soon as girls hear that I fell rescuing my brother and that's where I got a scar, they're like, oh my gosh. And literally he gets laid off the stupid story. So there are F boys out there. And um, just because they're Asian doesn't mean they're any less innocent, any more innocent, whatever. A guy is a guy is a guy. But um, going back to my story, um, yeah, we were together from day one and it wasn't easy and I'm not even gonna lie and say there were weren't times when we were separated and a lot of that might have been logistical or whatever you know I'm in one country he's in another and so on so forth so I'm not gonna say it's easy but what I will say is at the end of the day if you know that that person has got your back and that they're going for a lot to be with you it says a lot So I would just say to a lot of girls who might be considering dating someone who's Asian, one, know why you're doing it. If it's just about having a fling, you know what I mean? I'm not judging. But I would say um, never lead anyone on because, like I said, if they're going to go through all the trouble of being with you and going through all that entails, and sometimes that's really strong bullying, um, you have to really make sure that you love them and they love you and also you should never be hidden because that's absolutely disgusting and I know some people will say oh he hides me because he doesn't want to upset his family well he has to take that L eventually so I would just say make sure that um you know, you're both on the right page. Try not to break anyone's hearts out there and try not to get your heart broken. But um, within 11 months, we were engaged. And um, yeah, not long after we got married.